Hey everyone, welcome to Without Code. My name is Ashton. Today we're unveiling our new Talkify calendar widget for Architect. Calendar widgets have definitely been the most requested widgets from our users, both on Facebook and our forums. There are many types of calendars out there, from booking or reservation calendars, to event calendars, to even just general purpose calendars like Google Calendar. And unfortunately, there's just no way to realistically build a super calendar widget that does everything. So instead, what we're going to do is build a bunch of individual widgets for several calendar types, starting here with Talkify. Now, our Talkify widget integrates a pre-existing calendar service, which is definitely the way to go since most people are already using existing services anyway, and likely have calendar events populated already. We've received the most requests for Talkify's calendar, and if it's the Google Calendar or another calendar that you're after, not to worry. We're going to be releasing multiple calendar options over the next few weeks and months, and Google is definitely coming soon. Talkify falls under the general category for calendars, like Google's calendar, though Talkify really exceeds as an event calendar. It features bold event detail listings and offers event-specific features like RSVP, promotional buttons, links, images, video, file attachments, and much more. It's also quite visual of a calendar and includes several layout options. Now, the general idea is that it avoids the typical calendar grid layout and puts the focus on the events themselves that you create from inside the portal, although a standard grid calendar appearance is available by selecting the monthly layout option. There's even mini calendar options available that take up way less space on your page if that's what you're after. Now we know a lot of people are already using Talkify calendars with sites that they've built in Architect or elsewhere by simply embedding the features from Talkify directly. So if you've already created Talkify calendars elsewhere, you can easily use those existing calendars with our widget. If you're using Google Calendar, you can even sync Talkify with your Google Calendar, which is awesome. So really quick, before we dive into the setup, let me switch to a new tab here on the Talkify website so we can talk about pricing. Each site and each client will certainly have different needs, but luckily there are several pricing options available in both monthly and yearly billing, as well as a totally free option. Now make sure you study the plans carefully, as there are tons of features and you may find that certain features are only available on a certain paid plan. Now the premium plan seems to contain the majority of the advanced features that people tend to seek out, but plans do go up to white label features and beyond if needed. One thing to keep in mind though with these subscriptions, when you sign up you're going to be placed in a free trial, and the trial will automatically give you more options than the free plan. But when your trial ends you will still have all the events you created, though you may lose certain features if you've already integrated premium features. So if you know for certain that you're only going to stay on the free plan, it might actually be a good idea to send Talkify support a note, asking them to place you on the free plan right away so that you don't accidentally enable any paid features. In our experience, their support has been super fast in the past. But either way, there's no credit card number required for sign up, which is nice. And there's also no contract periods. So definitely dive in and give it a shot if you're curious or on the fence. So enough rambling from me, let's open a new browser tab with Talkify's homepage, and we'll open an account. Here we can click Get Started for free, and we'll enter our information. And click Join. Great. Now from there, you're going to get an email with a verification link that you need to click. So let me go ahead and grab that. And then we're taken here to create our very first calendar. Now the first thing you need to enter is a short name for your calendar. And you can name this whatever you want, but it can't have spaces. So if you need multiple words, just use a period. I'll go with ashton.wocode. And then here you have some customization options for the calendar title, location, language, etc. But let's just go ahead and click create your first calendar. Perfect. So once you've created your calendar, you can start creating events. So let's try one. We'll click create event here on the top left. And we can start with an event title. My birthday's this week, so I'm deciding to have Ashton's birthday bash. So next you can set the date and time range. So we'll go August 23rd from 6 to 10 p.m. And alternatively, you can click all day, which will eliminate the time range option. Next, you have an option to make this a recurring event if you want. So you can click add regular repeats, where you can set how often it repeats the length of time interval, and when and if the repeats end, which is nifty. But as much as I'd like a weekly birthday party, I'm going to remove repeats for now. Next is event description, pretty self-explanatory. I'll just type something simple for now. Join me for a birthday bash celebration. 
And then finally, you've got all the location and venue options here, which you can enter the venue and or building name, address, customize directions for the guests, and you'll even be given a map preview, which is handy. For now, I'm just going to click Save Changes on the top left. And now that it's saved, we have a handy little option here for Copy, in case you're creating multiple events with a lot of the same attributes, so it's a good time saver. Now again, remember, some of these features you may be seeing as premium features, but offered temporarily on your trial, so just be careful to study which plan you intend on using prior to committing to specific features. Let's click back to Pinboard. And now we're actually going to do some customization of our calendar, so let's click Customize in the top header bar. This whole Talkify dashboard is really where you're going to spend most of your time when it comes to integrating this widget onto your website. All of the styling is done here at Talkify, not in the Architect Widget Settings panel. When you first see your customization tool, by default, it'll load in Talkify's demo events, so don't be alarmed if you aren't seeing your events that you just created right away. Here on top, you can uncheck this box for Show Demo Events, and we're then left with only the ones we've created. But the demo events can actually be helpful to demonstrate the styling features that you're adjusting to show how a full calendar will appear with the current parameters, even if you haven't created a full calendar's worth of events yet. So for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to leave these demo events turned on. Now by default, there are three viewing options here for your calendar. You have Pinboard, which is this kind of offset grid type of layout. You have Agenda, which is more of a list. And then you have Monthly, which is your traditional calendar layout. Now each calendar style has its own set of options, and within each calendar style there are subcategories for colors and styles and layout. So there's tons of settings here, and you're really going to want to pay attention as you change settings because the sample calendar here on this same page will be updated as you go. This really is the best tool for knowing how your calendar will look, because this is exactly as your calendar will appear once integrated onto your site. So definitely poke around all of these tabs, and I'm sure you'll be impressed by the vastness of the options. There's way too much to go over here one-on-one -on -one in a tutorial, but definitely make sure to experiment and get creative. Once you've got your styling and calendar in a good place, it may be time for you to integrate it into your Architect site, and it's quite easy to do. Let's switch over to Architect. And I have the About page of our Method theme pulled up and ready to modify. So let's jump into our Widgets panel. And we'll scroll down to our Talkify widget and we'll drop it into a new row on the page. And once you do so, you're going to see a placeholder here on your page in the editor. You're not going to see your calendar rendered here in the editor. Using a placeholder allows the editor to run nice and quickly at all times, since it doesn't have to constantly render changes within the editor. So you'll need to give the site a publish in order to see the actual calendar. This is another reason why it's handy to utilize the preview in the Talkify editor before integrating it into your site. Now, with it placed on the page here, all the normal sizing rules apply. You can set the width of the calendar using the resizing tools or the spacing options in the design section of the widgets panel, just like any other widget. You can also make the calendar full width by clicking on the row and then setting the row to full bleed row with this toggle switch. Let's open the settings panel for the Talkify widget. First option displayed is the calendar name. Now this is the name that you chose for the calendar at the very beginning, and it can be found several places in the Talkify dashboard. So let's go take a look. Back here in Talkify, let's click to Settings, and you can see your calendar name displayed here, where you're also free to change it if you wish. Let me click back. You can also click Edit Events, which displays your calendar name all the way up here on the top right. This one we built is called Ashton.WoCode. So let's jump back to Architect, and we'll enter that into our Settings panel. Perfect. Calendar Type. This dropdown contains options for a full calendar or a mini calendar. Now these options change the layout and overall size of the calendar when it's displayed. But just note that this option also varies per calendar style. So then to Calendar Style. These options offer different display styles for the calendar, as we saw in the editor, and they do vary greatly. You can always revert back to our live demo too and click between the pinboard, agenda, and monthly buttons to see the differences. And then finally, default search value. This field allows you to set a pre-filled search term for the search function. It will cause the calendar to load with this term entered already, and only results of the search term will be displayed. This feature can be used as a filter to show only certain results by default. And as I mentioned before, all of the styling for this widget is done in the Talkify editor. So if we click over to the Design tab in our Settings panel, it's only going to yield us our general spacing options. Any other customization that may come to mind, visit your Talkify calendar settings for more.
Last but not least, let's give this page a publish so we can see this bad boy in action. And there we go. Everything's looking and functioning beautifully. So thanks so much for watching. Have fun with the Talkify widget and definitely look forward to more types of calendar releases in the coming weeks and months for Architect. Don't hesitate to reach out to us in support if any issues arise. And until next time, have a wonderful day.